Hey everybody, it's Larry Levin with LiveLovePhilly.com and I'm here today to talk with you a little bit about some of the issues facing first-time home buyers. You know, a lot of folks uh, have been renting for a while and they don't quite know how to break that cycle. I've worked with many first-time home buyers over the years and I can't tell you that what that there's anything more gratifying than seeing a first-time home buyer sign the papers and get the keys to their first home after many years of renting and saving for, for their down payment and their closing costs. But folks that haven't taken that step yet uh, oftentimes uh, are confused or, or just intimidated by uh, the costs of what uh, buying a home could look like. They make their monthly payment on a regular basis without fail. They're extremely responsible. They've got great credit. And, uh, and so they've got the monthly income to make it happen, but that the, the, the cost of that lump sum for the, monthly, for the down payment and closing cost is, like I said, very intimidating. Well, we have a free report on our website that's available to cover these issues for anybody that's having uh, concerns or questions about them. The report can be downloaded at livelovephilly.com slash stop underscore renting. That's livelovephilly.com slash stop underscore renting. But I'm going to cover the uh, key top two issues here for you. And uh, the first really, like I said, is the down payment. And most people think maybe they need 20% down or, or more or they're just not even sure. Well, the truth is you can probably buy a home and get it and, and use a down payment that's much less than, than 20% and even 10%. Most first time buyers will qualify for programs that uh, would allow you to put as little as 3% down on your new home. And if you're a veteran, it may be 0% down. So uh, find a trusted local realtor that understands working with first-time home buyers and can help you understand what you qualify for and, and what programs are available to you. And then the second big issue is the closing costs. In Philadelphia, they're very expensive. Some, some people say the most expensive in the world. In any case, it's a big number and there's ways to deal with that as well as a first-time buyer. There are some great local and federal programs that offer grants to first-time buyers that help offset the closing costs so they'll either cover, cover them for you in full or at least partially so that uh, it, it, it eases the pain a little bit and makes the, the process of getting into your new home a little bit faster than having to put all that money aside week after week, month after month. The other way to offset and deal with closing costs is potentially to negotiate with the seller for what's called a seller assist. And the seller will oftentimes subsidize the buyer's closing costs because it makes the house more attractive to more buyers and makes it easier to sell. Now this is, as I said, a negotiation with the home seller, so there's no guarantee what the amount would be or even if the seller is willing to do it. But a good local realtor will be able to help you identify those homes up front or at least uh, present that to potential sellers ahead of time to help you avoid wasting time or getting your hopes up unnecessarily on homes where the seller assist just won't be available. So it's again really important to find that trusted local realtor to help you with those issues. If you found this information helpful and you want to uh, take a deeper dive, again, download our, our free report at livelovephilly.com slash stop underscore renting or drop your comments or questions right here at the bottom of this video for me and I'll be happy to follow up with you directly. And you can always call me as well at 267-808-6565. That's 267-808-6565. And as always, we encourage you to share all these videos with anybody that you think might find them valuable. Thanks so much.